Welcome to video number seven, number 2.5 in our series of eight videos. This one will be looking at completing the serviceability assessment uh, in our application entry and podium best practice webinar series. Well, we'll now jump across to our serviceability worksheet. Uh, now you'll notice our serviceability worksheet has recently changed for those of you who haven't been in and had a look at it as yet. Uh, slightly different layout rather than having uh, tabs going across the page, the page just goes scrolls down to the bottom there. All the details for checking off for as we move down the page and the calculate button is down the bottom. So what we do firstly is make sure that we've got the correct scenario that we want, which is our recommended and preferred for Thomas Ferris. Uh, and that is a NAB product. We then move down here. If the information is not available down there, simply update from application entry, and then the information will be updated in there. And then your uh, next steps are to check that the applicant details are correct, the income is correct, the security property and the expenses and commitments are correct. Once you are happy with that, uh, click on the calculate button and you will get your results up at the top there. If for some reason you wanted to, or for instance, maybe the, the servicing calculation, you know, is missing uh, something like there was a credit card needs to be added in or something like that. Simply go back up to the top of the page here and there's a little calculate button again that takes you back in to the calculate page. Um, and then you're, you're fresh to uh, start again there. Uh, like the loan worksheet, uh, you can add a number of different scenarios in. So if you want to check the servicing for the, the different products. So in this case, number two scenario was a Westpac product. So we might want to check the servicing for that. Check the details again, update from application entry, and then hit calculate. Make sure that you are happy that the serviceability is evident for both the, the products that we're recommending. We're just going to move back to our preferred one as now. Now, the other step that we need to take down here is once we hit calculate, the print button now sits here on the right hand side and you have your options as summary PDF, all the same options that you had before, uh, just in a slightly different uh, location. Uh, also the calculator, uh, the lender calculator sits there where it is available from the lender, uh, our recommendation is then you also, once you have your podium servicing uh, checked off, is then you then jump down into the lender calculator and make sure that the lender is uh, meets their serviceability requirements as well. Uh, one other function here again, so we just jump back to calculate again, and it's the max borrowing tab here. So. We click on the max borrowing tab is a little bit different functionality here within the max borrowing so again it looks still the same as it does uh, for the serviceability assessment uh, and down the bottom here we can pick out how many lenders we want and any other different types of criteria that we want to put in there i can hit calculate and what happens is the the list against all the, in this case, 30 lenders will come up. Uh, but if any of you had had a look at the max borrowings before, what would happen is there would be a, a red over the top of certain lenders. And what that meant was that their serviceability or max borrowing capacity for different products had different um, borrowing levels. So it was sort of like a beware um, what we've done in this case is we've greyed out the lenders where there is no variation in, uh, in, in max borrowing. So if I look at, for instance, uh, uh, I'll my scroll down to uh, NAB. I'll click on NAB and max borrowing peaks at 9.30. Uh, so that is the, the top borrowing there. If I click on here, a grey one, Beyond Bank, you'll see that it's a consistent max borrowing across all products. Whereas the NAB product, not greyed out, 
had varying levels across different products. So uh, if it's not grayed out, if it's just if it's unmarked, you need to be uh, careful that uh, the the borrowing amount you're allowing for the for the borrower actually suits the product that they they're looking for. All right, how do we get back to from the max of borrowing estimate is across on the right hand side here is a restart button and that'll take us back in um, and your print function is obviously there for your max borrowing. So we hit restart and that takes us right back to uh, resetting it um, at the start and then we click back across to our serviceability and away we go again. So we saw in this case for Thomas Ferris, serviceability was okay. We print our PDF, we do our lender calculator and then we move on to the next step. The next video after this we'll look at is 2.6. It is the final video in our series of eight for NCCP tools. So on that note, I'll say uh, goodbye and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you.